All right, on this one, now it may be just helpful to split these up like this, just so we know what we're working with. Uh, essentially what I've done here is just lined up all of the common bases in columns. This is nice because right here we got 25 divided by 5, which is 5. And then with the A's, I'd have a to the power of 2x plus 1, but I'd be subtracting that 3x plus 1 right there. So that would be a to the power of uh, 2x plus 1 minus 3x minus 1, which would be a to the power of uh, 2 minus 3x's would be negative x, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So I don't really need to show that plus 0. That's still multiplied by 5. And then with the b's, I've got x minus 1 minus the 2x minus 3. So that would be b to the power of x minus 1 minus 2x, but now plus 3. So that's going to be b to the power of uh, x minus 2x is a negative x. And then negative 1 plus 3 is plus 2. Now they didn't really say if they only wanted positive exponents on this. So it's possible this is where we would need to stop, uh, which I would be fine with. It would be a little bit more difficult to split this one up. So maybe some people would prefer to see this as 5b. Well, that's, oh, that's a 5. Negative x plus 2, and then over positive exponent for a. So what happens to that is, it's a negative x plus 2, right? But we need to take the negative of that. And that would make that 5 over a to the power of x, b to the power of, now it's a positive x, but minus 2. Which is a little bit more work than I think they wanted, so I would say that's, that should work. 